guys, what's going on? Welcome back to yet another Clone Wars video. Is your gooch sufficiently licked? Sorry I said that. Anyway, long ass video today, so we're gonna keep this intro just like the bus that I should have been riding in school. Th short. <laughs> Alright, I feel pretty good knowing that we got the most divisive fucked up joke out of the way. And this is probably a good spot to say that if you don't like things or people or entities being made fun of, this probably isn't the right channel for you. We make fun of a lot of shit over here. So, with all that being said, if you guys are ready to be turned on by cartoons, watch animations get blown to smithereens, and just continue down this dark path of darkness from a kid's show, let's dive into Clone Wars. Fear of loss are the roots that lead to the tree of evil. Clone Wars out here legitimately giving life advice. That's true as fuck. Anakin Skywalker and his Padawan Ahsoka race across the galaxy to a Jedi Knight, Ayla Sakura, who is in the midst of Ayla. Hey Skywalker, we're depending on you. <laughs> in case y'all are wondering if I have sexual thoughts about Ayla in the first four seconds of seeing her, does a bear shit with his eyes closed? The answer is yes. Commander, get out there and stop those droids. I'm Dude, on it. Dude, I mean, come on. The sheer curves alone. This is supposed to be a kid's show. I have a feeling that people that grew up with this show as children like it for a very different reason when they become teenagers and rewatch it. I'll be on board Ayla's cruiser. Master, are you sure that's the wisest thing? Damn! I know, I know! I'm hanging on! Uh, what kind of advice would that be? Hang on, Ahsoka! Yeah, no shit! I thought I would have a loose grip on the ship that's blasting through space with guns being shot at it. It's so cool. My sentence, Skywalker. How do you plan to get us out of this mess? I have a ship docking in the lower hangar. As we speak. A lot of y'all say that this show gets better as it progresses, and I don't necessarily know what point you're talking about, but I do feel like this episode already is better than a lot of episodes that we've watched up to this point. Like, I feel like it now is the time it starts getting really good, but I don't know, I could be wrong. It's too late! Master! Oh, shit. Oh, shit! Jesus, Anakin. Down there. No, we're not. We just got fucking exploded out. General Skywalker's condition may be critical. We must get him on board the Resolute. Are all Jedi so reckless? Just the good <laughs> ones. <laughs> Hell yeah. You gotta be reckless to do some wild shit. And you need to do wild shit to be victorious in this life, it seems like. I need you with Commander Bly up on the bridge right now. Commander Bly doesn't need my help. Anakin does. You can help Anakin by getting this ship to safety. Whoa, that's actually really cool foreshadowing because it sounds like the same type of breathing that he will later do when he becomes Darth Vader. That's pretty cool. I could be looking into that a little bit too much, but sounds really similar. The navigation computer is completely fried. Shut down all power circuits to reset the coordinates. That will cut off Anakin's life support. But it's a risk we're going to have to take. Ready to shut off auxiliary power. On three. One. Two. Three. Power. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm not gonna make too many sexual comments, but my god, the ratio of Ayla's boobs to waist to hips is absolute insanity. I, I just had to get that out of there. Now, flee my head, talking to my thoughts. Well, we're not gonna crash into the star, but we're definitely gonna hit that planet. Everyone, wow. Go! I'm just glad he wasn't awake to see that landing. He would have been proud. <laughs> yeah, he would have. Dude, the women in this series are so badass. I mean, really, everybody is. Well, except for Jar Jar. But seriously, the women and girls in this show are super cool. You and Bly go south. Rex and I will stay here with Anakin. In order to get help quickly, we must work together. Master, I know if I was hurt, he'd never leave me behind. Yeah, yeah, he probably would. As a Jedi, 
It is your duty to do what is best for the group. Dude, her accent too, dude. I'm just getting kind of like Eastern European type vibes or something like that. Something tells me she can cook too. That I don't know what she would cook. Some type of Shrek swamp rat or something, but I'd eat it. There has to be some kind of something here. Where exactly are we going? To go find the people who live on this planet. Where are we going to find them? We have no idea where they are. Go by a water it source. I feel like that's always the, the answer when you get trapped in the woods. Live near giant trees. Very perceptive, Padawan. <laughs> Very perceptive. That's the only thing y'all found. That's the only clue to go off of. I can still sense your worry for Anakin. I get so confused sometimes. It's forbidden for Jedi to form attachments, yet we are supposed to be compassionate. That is really complicated. Show compassion, but yet develop no feelings? It doesn't make sense. That's like, get an A on your test, but don't study. You know, slap your gooch, but don't go buy your gonads an asshole. You know? Tell me why I'm actually kind of nervous for a jump scare. This is Clone Wars. It's fine. I don't see any signs of life. <gasps> Watch out! <laughs> what the hell? What the hell are them giant tree nuts? Something intelligent enough to figure out a use for the pods has dragged them away. Let's go. With the little flute, with the little flute mu- Oh my god, I can't even speak. With the little flute music, dude. That's how I dance to flutes. Oh shit, what the hell? General, are you alright? <laughs> no, I always fall to the ground when I'm fine. Oh my god. What the hell? What the fuck was that? Little grassland bird of prey. Okay. Oh shit, those things are deadly as hell. I thought we could mount them and ride them. Yeah, I said that. Cameron's dead. So lucky in flesh. We have to keep moving. I've said this before and I'm gonna say it again. I think with extremely large bird dragon-like creatures, all you have to do to subdue them is give them some scratches and love. I truly think that would work. Hot Central, we made it. <gasps> oh shit, dude, they're little lemur looking things. What have you come here for? Our ship clashed a few miles away and one of us is very badly injured. Violence breeds violence. Jedi are no peacekeepers. We're fighting for freedom. And freedom and peace require fear and death? True. We came here to find peace. Regardless of the Clone Wars and- Regardless. Regardless. She's French, dude. You got a hot French blue chick with giant boobs and a tiny waist. Like, what are we supposed to do with that? My friend is dying. <laughs> These lemurs are wearing beanies. I will send my son, Wag Tu, to help your friend. He is a healer. Be mindful of your surroundings, Padawan. Those creatures are still out there. Got it. She's a champ. We won't be long. <laughs> Shan't be long! No, Ahsoka is way more able than I, a lot of people give her credit for. She is young, yes, but she's like one of the most badass people ever. I am sure you are aware that the Jedi did not initiate the Clone Wars. What difference does it make who started the war and who only wants to end it? No side is free of fault. It takes two to fight. But isn't liberty worth fighting for? Yes. But is it worth killing for? Fighting yes. for something doesn't necessarily mean you have to destroy everything in your path. Only when you lay your arms down and pursue a course of non-violence can you make this claim to me that the Jedi are peacekeepers. Or that the Jedi would just be people that got walked all over. It's not that simple. They're not out here destroying fucking everything they come across. I mean, they're destroying a lot of shit, sure. But again, I feel like that's really what you would have to do. And these things are disgusting. I mean, they, they're they cute in like a demon type of way. The way that a, a demon that murders you is cute. Good to see you, Snips. <laughs> this is Wag 2. Don't you worry. I can fix your item. What? He gets around like Sonic the Hedgehog. He just rolls around? Um, Snips? <laughs> the oil from the pods will aid in the healing process. 
You'll be well in no time. They put it on his clothing. Can the oil be absorbed through the clothes? Strip him naked! We still have to find the way off this planet. I'm sure Admiral Yularen and the Republic fleet are looking for us. It shouldn't take them too long to get here. Damn! That was a good episode! That was non-stop action the entire fucking episode. When surrounded by war, one must eventually choose a side. The Jedi receive medical aid from the peaceful Lerman colonists. But even on this tiny planet, the war threatens to follow the Jedi. Oh shit, them little lemur boys aren't gonna like that. In war, peace is not really an option. Am I wrong for thinking that? Commander Bly, we've got company. General. Yes, Commander. Mm. Oh. Don't struggle. I'm sorry, but you're still too injured to move. <laughs> They're Scots! I'm sorry, but you're still too injured to move. <laughs> Little Scottish lemurs, dude. What menace have you brought to our village now, Jedi? Father, you can't blame them. Your presence here endangers us. Well, you shut you up, must... bearded bitch. Go see what the Separatists want. We will not fight them at all. We would rather die than to kill others. Okay, well, that's fucking stupid. I'd rather die than kill people that will go out and murder more people. You fucking idiot. Use your skull. I am General Lockdurd of the Separatist Alliance. <laughs> I am T. Watka. You are now under the protection of the Separatist Alliance. I congratulate you on your good fortune. <laughs> is that actually good? Question is, what do the Separatists want with this place? I would like to inspect my new colony. <laughs> Can't just go to people's <laughs> land and take it over, dude. Ransack this dung <laughs> Translated version. Take over this shithole! Why are they tearing apart our homes? We've done nothing to them. That's what bad people That's do. That's what those droids are programmed for. Yeah. And you guys want to be a bunch of pussies sitting around not doing anything about it. Your species is smarter than you appear. You are just a overweight, condescending slug man. Are you not concerned about the Jedi at all? You guys probably shouldn't be saying that so loudly. No, the Jedi escaped into the tall grass! I'm not worried about them at all! <laughs> Lower your voice, dude. You know, I can't figure those villagers not wanting to fight. <laughs> no pride, I guess. I call it no courage. Sometimes it takes courage to stick to one's beliefs, young Padawan. What the hell are you eating, Ahsoka? Damn cheese stick? They might have a shuttle. Oh, fuck. Blast it! Jump it signal! How did none of y'all hit that? Y'all got gun! Shoot him! Oh! Oh! Oh, shit! Nice! But Anakin, how the hell did you get up there if you can't even walk? I'm getting stronger all the time, Snips. But I'm not sure I'm ready for that. I say you bomb them motherfuckers. Are there bombs in Star Wars? Is that a thing? If not, it ought to be. Apparently, the Separatists have a new toy. Today is a grand day for the Separatist cause. <laughs> a weapon which will destroy organic matter, but leave machines unharmed. Oh, that's actually really sick. That's pretty fucking dope. Yeah, Roger, Roger! Roger, Roger! <laughs> Annoying ass little vermin. The volunteers are you and you. <laughs> Isn't the purpose of calling them volunteers that they voluntarily volunteered? You can't choose volunteers. I have located a world in which we can test my, excuse me, our new weapon. Oh, uh, so they're looking for a damn bomb site. Hiya, Chipuna. Oh shit, dude. Oh my god. Uh, should we take cover? No, idiot. It is not even gonna hit us. Oh shit. Oh dude, she is so badass. She just fucking whips a vine out in George of the Jungles and saves that dude. As wow. Dude. Okay, fuck these guys because they're separatists, but that is a badass weapon. I specifically chose this planet because it is inhabited. The colonists will make excellent test subjects. You're just gonna commit genocide against the little lemur tribe? They must be going back to the Lerman village. First, we'll take out the George communication station. Then after we get a shuttle, we'll go back and help the Lerman. But 
Taewok Ka said he doesn't need our help. Yeah, well, he doesn't know what he doesn't know. Although he did say he'd rather die than harm anything else, which was the stupidest fucking thing I ever heard. But I have a feeling he's going to be very thankful for Anakin's decision. Hey, what was that? <laughs> Surprises for the general. <laughs> Four seven two four. Out the west end checkout. Uh... Yeah, so much for no surprises. They did not attack us before. There's no reason to think they will this time. Dude, your logic is so flawed. It's not even funny. This is war, not our war. It is your war. They want to extinct your asses. Father, even if we don't fight the separatists, we must defend ourselves. Yes. Mounting a defense is still engaging in battle. If we sacrifice our beliefs, we're no better than they are. <laughs> your beliefs and morals are shit. The way that you're going, your entire civilization is going to be destroyed to pieces. Beanies, beards, and all. Please listen. What are you doing here? I told you not to return. Afraid the Separatists don't care whether you're in the war or not. We need to get you to safety before they arrive. We will not abandon our home. <laughs> Dude, this little bastard is so annoying. As long as we don't sacrifice our morals and principles, we will perish. We will all die. Really? Droids inbound. We've got eight minutes tops. I think that this show does a good job of layering in terms of having the overarching problem and conflict of the episode, and then the subparts. Like, it's a really well-paced, well-thought-out story each and every episode. It's a little formulaic, but I think that they do a fantastic job of that. Fire! Power the shields! Oh, nice! They got a little Wakanda globe. I'm nervous that the shields can only hold up for so long, though. Now, they'll have to get their hands dirty and meet us face to face. Squad one, prepare to charge. <laughs> Don't do that. Squad one, prepare to charge. That's it, we have to retreat. Take cover, they've breached the shield. Uh, sir, there's a Jedi heading right for us. Then blast him, you idiot. <laughs> Then blast him! <laughs> Quag 2, what are you doing? We're going to help. I forbid this. What more will you have them do before we are alive? I will literally rip your stupid fucking beard out and choke you with your beard hair, dude. I don't even care at this point. Can't just let your people die. Let's go! Help! I'll be defoliated! You'll be what? <laughs> there goes my promotion. Okay, that's a bit cheesy. Oh my god! All the lemurs just tripped him and Ahsoka just beheaded like 38 droids. <laughs> a little genocidal, but pretty fucking awesome. Thank you, Wag2. Our village would certainly have been destroyed without your protection. Yeah, what does your dad think about Father, all this? Perhaps we do owe you thanks, but I still wonder at what cost. Dude, you are a straight up idiot. At the cost of survival. Arrogance diminishes wisdom. Okay. Obi-Wan Kenobi and Anakin Skywalker, accompanied by dignitaries from the nearby moon of Pantora, are sent to investigate the disappearance of the clone troopers on the desolate and forbidding landscape. Damn. And this is the planet's tropical zone. It's not Tatooine, that's for sure. Goldman and R2, I see him! <laughs> yes! <laughs> yes! Why would the Republic want an outburst way out here? <laughs> <laughs> General Kenobi. Chairman Cho, Senator Chuchi. Our moon of Pantora is the only civilization in this system. This wasteland belongs to us. <laughs> yeah, who the fuck wants this wasteland, dude? Oh, wow. Dude, you got heads on spikes to start this episode. It's kind of getting like a little bit of a darker vibe than a typical Clone Wars episode. Our scouts have spotted a droid base on the other side of the ice ridge. By the look of things, I'd say whoever attacked our base took out the droids also. Jesus, everybody's head's on a spike. What the fucking Joffrey Lannister's going on, dude? I think I found something. They've overrun the base. We need reinforcements. What was that? Whatever it was, it's a good warrior. <laughs> Holy shit. There are no dead droids here. No blast marks. The clone's injuries were not consistent with what- So, 
You're an expert on war now, are you, Senator? Don't be a pompous douchebag. She's making observations. I am willing to fight and die for my people. It's time to ask yourself <sighs> if you are brave enough to do the same. I'm kind of talking out of both sides of my mouth now. From the last episode, I'm like, yeah, you fucking idiots. You gotta kill to save lives. But in this one, she makes total sense. If it's not your enemy and it's somebody else, maybe there is another avenue for peace. So war whenever there's no other option, but peace if that is a viable option. Oh, dude, there are them. What is that, an ice grievous? With his little monkeys by him? <gasps> dude, they're arctic monkeys! <laughs> yes! Here, let's put an arctic monkeys montage in here. Now it's three in the morning, and I'm trying to change your mind. Too bad we didn't bring 3PO along. Yeah. How do you plan on communicating with these It's things? always a bad thing when you don't bring Goldman along. Maybe they're smarter than we are. <laughs> Well, say something. <laughs> what, are you, what are you supposed to say? <laughs> oh, that looks toasty, dude. It's kind of a vibe in there. We come to you in peace. Peace. Ew, they kind of look like walking spiders. <laughs> he gave you a hug! That's so nice! Aww. What did you find? It seems we've stumbled onto an inhabited planet. Our explorers have spent much time here over the long history of Pantora. I don't no give a good goddamn how long your explorers been here doing stuff. We saw spider folk! I think they may have been here longer than Pantora. Whoever they are, they belong to us. No, they don't. This whole system belongs to us. No, it doesn't. They want peace. These creatures are little more than animals. Dude, this is total, like, Pocahontas vibes. When they're like, they're savages! They don't know what the fuck's going on, we're gonna slaughter them dead and take their land. They think corn is gold. Aaron, that's a Pocahontas joke. You gotta find the clip where she opens up the corn and says, gold. <laughs> Have the rest of the men stand by here. No matter what the chairman thinks, we're not going to war. It really shows that the Jedi have a good head on their shoulders as a whole. They're not afraid of combat or war, but they know strategically when to utilize it and when to back down and promote peace. And I think that breadth, that spectrum that they show, speaks so highly of the Jedi as a, as a people. Unlike this fucking idiot. Nothing is under your control, Chairman. The Tals are already here. <laughs> it's the Arctic Monkeys! <laughs> Your Highness, we have returned. Dude, Goldman out here saving the day. These savages have no rights here. Dude, fuck yourself. Chieftain Tyson welcomes you to his home and hopes you come in peace. Translate everything I say, and exactly as I say it. No, don't do that. Listen here, you savage. This world belongs to the moon of- Dude, your head's gonna end up on a fucking spike. I actually hope it does. Your Majesty, we can't. Droid! Tell him. D Goldman, do not do that. <laughs> he says he's gonna murder you dead and put your head on a spike. The great Tai Sen, son of sons, asks again that you leave or it will mean war. Then war it is. Oh my god. You're going to have to stay with the chairman until we can work things out. Protect him at all costs. You could petition the Jedi Council for an intervention. You mean... Without his authorization. Yes. There must be someone on your Do menu it. to prove it. The Speaker of the Assembly. He has the path. Here they are. Fire when you're in range. So with all due respect, we're only here to protect you. Yeah, and I just don't understand why he's so adamant on having a war. It doesn't make much sense to me. Why would you ever want to resort to death and bloodshed if you don't have to? Oh. Oh. <laughs> That is so sad. Chairman, get down! Murder the chairman! Put the senator in charge. Bus squad, cover the retreat! Retreat? We can't retreat from these animals! Oh. Oh, savages! <laughs> got stabbed in the back, nice. Wait, he got stabbed in the back and there's no rip or blood or anything on his clothes. Okay. Senator Tucci, 
You are given the authority to negotiate a peaceful settlement between the sovereign planet of Pantora and the Tarth. <sighs> it's a little late. And I don't think that the, the Arctic monkeys are going to take it too kindly that you already murdered a lot of their kind and their little snow beasts. I'd be pissed. Now that you have the authority, how do you plan on making peace with the Tals? Since you are far more experienced, I was hoping you could negotiate on Pantora's behalf. Smart. She's smart. I'm afraid that's not possible, Senator. Oh, why? But I don't understand. It is your people the Tals are at war with. If the violence is to stop, it is you who must represent your people. Okay, that makes sense. So I, I feel like I was right at the beginning of the episode. This it, this does seem a little bit darker than a normal Clone Wars episode, which is interesting. It's a lot more like political too. It doesn't have like a ton, a ton of combat and violence, even though that's exactly what's going on right now. But it's like kind of the political hierarchy. So it's an interesting episode. You okay, Rex? Eh, it's just a scratch. Eleven dead, the rest wounded, including the chairman. Let the chairman die, honestly. I think everybody would be a whole lot better off. Senator, you must avenge me. Shut up, As dude. You are so command, annoying. I order you to destroy the towels. Eh, wrong. Not gonna happen. The Pentoran Assembly has called you out of order. I am to negotiate peace. Impossible. I died for our people. <laughs> Good. Yeah, he's gone. Good. I don't feel any remorse. Oh my god, she's gonna put it on a spike. Droid, translate for me. Yes, mistress. <laughs> to die for one's people is a great sacrifice. To live for one's people, an even greater sacrifice. Wow, what a quote. I choose to live for my people. What do you choose? Uh, I want to hug him. He's so fuzzy and big. He looks so nice. Okay, well. Okay, yeah. Yeah, he is nice. He chooses to live as well. We will leave Auto Plutonia under the watchful eyes of the Tals. Oh, it's kind of like a large chicken, dude. <laughs> I've described these people as monkeys, chickens, and spiders, and then was upset when the damn commander called them animals. Although I, I think of them more as that. That's just kind of what they look like. And now they look like spike turtles. Well done, Senator. Yes, most impressive. Remember one crucial thing. Yes, Master Kenobi? Make it last, Senator, and be an example to others. So not only this war, but every war waged may come to an end as well. Oh, she's going to be a champ, you can tell. I promise you. Dude, she's awesome. All the women in this show are so cool. I say they should have cut his head off and put his head on a spike, but what do I know? Fear is a disease. Hope is its only cure. Naboo is once again on high alert. Senator Amidala and Representative Binks race to Naboo to assess the situation. All right, looks like we got a Padme, Goldman, and Jar Jar episode. Excellent. They were found in the grasslands. Where'd they pick up all this mud? I'm getting a bad feeling about this. With your permission, <laughs> Senator Padme, I would like to shut down before I get sensory overload. Permission denied. Denied? 3PO. Damn, we Padme! Get information out of him. Ooh, yum, yum. Charger, you're, you're gonna fuck something up, aren't you? Look! Oh my god, dude! Now, somehow Jar Jar's shenanigans always work out in their favor, so this is probably a good thing, but it is just so fucking annoying. I want to so pimp sorry. slap his- No, it's it not okay! Accident. I don't give a fuck, you're trying to eat a bug, dude. These are very, very good tongue grabbing. You should find it only in one place and- Where? What? In the mud under the Perlote tree. Like the mud on this droid. I think Jar Jar just found out the location of that lab. <laughs> Of course he did. Oh, damn. Them bulbous beasts. <laughs> the virus, they contaminated y'all's water? Oh, fuck. It's the plague. Damn, that ass, Pagme. I think I just called her Pagme. Ah! Who the are you? <laughs> what are you doing? Why are you so here? <laughs> ah! What's a use of here? <laughs> It's like when Woody pushes Buzz's helmet button. <laughs> you shall follow this arriva. You shall find the use of Perloti. Keep your eyes open. Look for anything out of the ordinary. I suppose one can never have too many lab rats. Please, let's <laughs> our guests inside. Oh shit. That must be the evil scientist, dude, huh? He sounds like an evil scientist. We'll just have to- Freeze. Hold it right there. You shall okay. Wonderful specimens. 
What's a life form like you doing in a swamp like this? A German evil scientist. <laughs> Allow me Why? to present the return of the infamous Blue Shadow Wireless. I thought that deadly disease was extinct. Oh, but I have given it life once again. As I was eating schnitzel, I was determining how to bring the virus back. I don't know, this, we'll see how the episode develops, but this evil scientist, evil doctor vibe, it seems a little cheesy. Seems like a super old school 80s, 90s type of evil scientist dude. And to be honest, like a deadly disease being released doesn't really seem like a Star Wars type of thing, you know? Go with the Gungan, see if you can find them. You've got it, Master. Let's go rescue Padme and Jar Jar's dumbass. You'll honestly probably leave Jar Jar behind. Who is that? Dr. Nuvo Vindi. Good news, my soulless automaton friends. Yeah, it almost seems like a Phineas and Ferb episode, not a Star Wars content episode. If those bombs get delivered, we'll be facing a galaxy-wide plague. The war will be the least of our worries. <laughs> Didn't I just ask if there were <laughs> Star Wars bombs? Nice! Star Wars bombs, sick! You seem a bit on edge. There's a good chance Damn. we're about to destroy all life on this planet, including ours and the Senators. So yes, I'm a bit on edge. Why aren't you? I'm better at hiding it. <laughs> Master, are you there? Padme may be lost, Anakin. Don't risk the mission trying to rescue her. It's the woman he loves. He's gonna do it. You know, I'm thinking about like watch order, right? And technically you would watch Clone Wars before you watch Revenge of the Sith, but I really like the way that we did it, knowing what happens in Revenge of the Sith and then seeing the arc, the slow progression of Anakin to maybe a darker and darker version of himself. I think that's such a cool way to watch it. I don't know, I was just thinking about that. Like a soak of too depression. quiet. I'm not sure how much time has passed since we first got introduced to Ahsoka, but she has learned so quickly and her skill level is elevated at such a fast pace, it's insane. Padme! Take another step and your friends die. <laughs> oh! Do as he says. I, dude, I feel like you gotta have a pocket saber or something. One of the mini sabers tucked in your sock for you to pull out last second and fucking slice that dude's neck. Need some help? Yeah, we do! Oh, so good to see you, Master Kenobi. I realize I won't be able to hold you for long, Jedi. That is why I'm going to give you a choice. Fine with me, as long as one of the options is killing you. <laughs> How about Damn. you capture me or save your friends? How about both, you fucking long-necked bitch? Are you okay? How about the next time you rescue me before you kill all the battle droids? <laughs> a little thank you would go a long way. Well, looks like the bomb room. Yes, and luckily they appear inactive. I spoke too soon. Get these deactivated now. Anakin, Jesus. I'm guessing you didn't capture the doctor. I'm working on it. Dr. Vindy has remotely activated the bombs. They're counting down. That's great. And on top of that, one of them seems to be missing. The doctor's probably got it in his ass. I saw Dr. Vindy give a little droid a bomb. Okay, no, not in Doc's ass. Leaving so soon, Doctor? Catch! Oh, shit! What a save! I'm on my way. Wait, y'all are manually trying to deactivate? I guess that's the best option, right? I mean, I don't know. Ooh. Something smells good in here. Char Char, actually, fuck it, let him do his thing. He fucks everything up in the best way possible. So yeah, this is good. Go sniff around, dude. Hey there, little guy. <laughs> Fucking richer, dude. <laughs> You're under arrest, Dr. Bindi. You're under arrest? I feel like you could have said something way cooler than that. <laughs> Oh shit, Lady Jar Jar just fucked him up! The bomb's going off and we're all going to die! <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Die! <laughs> Oops. What happened? <laughs> nice. 
Why is it a German that wants everybody to die? Not just a stereotype. Yeah, it does. I mean, that's cool, like, to have a fucking virus as an option for mass destruction. It just doesn't seem very Star Wars-y to me. I don't know. A single chance is a galaxy of hope. If that virus had escaped, everyone on Naboo would be dead now. Oh well, just another boring day saving the universe. <laughs> Senator, you should see this. The chamber that holds the virus is missing. A droid must have taken it. Ah, Jesus, so the virus is still out there? Droids are not that smart. We say that a lot, but I'm gonna say it again. Droids are fucking idiots. The fact that this little bastard is still holding the virus, that's a surprise to me. He is kind of cute, though. You are doomed, young Jedi. No, they're not, Longface. Get away from there! What was that? Virus leak. Get to the safe room. Come on! Hurry! The doors are closing! Don't worry! So I know I say this a lot. I've gone through a phase where I was like, just use the force, use the fucking force, you idiots. I just have a question about the force. A lot of you guys are like, they can't use the force all the time because they have to like recharge it up. And it's kind of like, if they use it, then their force ability is diminished and they have to wait till, the, till they have a high enough amount to use it again. Other people have said that's total bullshit. My question to you guys, how does the force work? That's all I'm gonna ask. Going to find Ahsoka. We'll need her help to find those droids. Jar Jar is uncomfortably tall. Where's the antidote, Vindy? My job was to manufacture a plague, not to cure it. There's more than one way to skin a womp rat. I <laughs> womp rat. <laughs> Once the first droid breaks out of that laboratory, all Naboo is doomed! He has an antidote. What happens if he was working on it and it got out in the room? He would have to have an antidote. I don't believe his fucking German schnitzel headed ass. No, no, no! Some of the virus got in here. My master will find a cure for this virus. We're not dead yet. Is anyone out there? Just extremely close to all being dead. It's okay. <laughs> Are you contaminated? <laughs> I'm afraid oh, so. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. So, you think you found a cure? A little known extract made from Rixa root. A weed like vine found only on Iego. You must move cautiously if you. There's no time for caution. My Padawan is trapped down there, and so is Padme. I mean, Senator Amidala. So take your personal emotion for her out of it. That's essentially what he's saying. And Anakin, I know you want to get your dick wet again, but chill. Move strategically. Padme and Ahsoka will be fine if we succeed. We still have a job to do. As long as we're able, we'll help you destroy those droids before they breach the compound. Dude, what badasses. Ahsoka and the clones are dying and they're like, yeah, we, we'll still help with the mission. If I were dying and having a respiratory issue, I'd be like, oh my God, where the fuck? <laughs> It'd be so bad. I'd be freaking out. What do you make of this? It looks like a graveyard of ships. Oh god, and bodies too, just floating through space, dude. Jesus. Not good. Welcome to Aigo. Anakin, wait! Wait! Well, Anakin's experiencing just a little bit of the darkness, you can tell. It's hard to determine if he's actually getting darker or if he just lost all fucking strategy based on it being Padme at risk. Very impressive. You just destroyed 17 defenseless battle droids without suffering a scratch. <laughs> 18, the venerable Jabo Hood requests an audience. Jabo? Jabo. Hey, you guys have any idea how long it took me to repurpose those droids? <sighs> okay. Oh, that's our cue. <laughs> Fan him again. Somebody get the cannabis. That's what he's going to ask for next. When the separatists took off, they left all this junk behind. So you programmed them to serve you. <laughs> Hell yeah. No reason to let a good droid rust, right? Dude's got an army of servants now. This kid's living their life, dude. I like him. He's just chilling in a hammock to some island music getting fanned. <laughs> no one gets off this rock alive. Not past Droll. Droll? The phantom ruler of Diego. What is he, some giant fucking hell dog with six heads? Fifty tried. Fifty died. I suppose that explains- Not great odds? Senator! Senator, your suit's been compromised. Oh shit. Don't blame yourself. 
These things tend to happen in a war zone. I mean, we know she's gonna live, so that's fine. It still adds to the suspense and tension. Don't touch the vine. Aside from the obvious, why not? Because the plants don't like it. And they have big, sharp teeth. Teeth? Oh, the fuck? And watch out for the flying Xandu. What's a Xandu? <laughs> That's a Xandu! I have a bad feeling about this. Don't take too long with that. Get the faking rats! Oh, oh, it's not a hell dog, it's a hell plant with 17 heads. Got it. Wait, how do you know how much of the root you need? <laughs> You can either chop its head off, or like I always say, just give him a good old scratch and a boop on the nose. First we are, the planet is cursed. Oh, old cursed dick chin, dude. You, my twitchy friend. The ghost of Drawl. Oh, I thought the plant was Drawl. That's just the fucking spiked plant with teeth? Jesus Christ, okay. You ask me, sounds like a load of superstition. That's one word for it. <laughs> so much. Sounds like a load of horseshit. Someone help me! Ah! That was taquito. Taquito? I love taquitos. Little rolled up Mexican taco snacks with cheese in the middle, yeah? The ghost of Droll may be a local superstition, but something real blew up those ships. What's the matter, Archie? Droll is just a superstition. There's our ghost! Whoa! No. The Separatists must have installed those lasers to prevent people from leaving the planet. Destroyed all the battle droids inside the compound, Master. But they're both dying. Promise me that no one will ever open this bunker. Goodbye, Anakin. <gasps> I... <laughs> I love you. No! Oh, shit! We'll borrow a power converter from Jabo and reprogram it to feed Slow our... Slow down, Anakin. Slow down. You saw them, Master. They're dying! A great leap forward often requires first taking two steps back. And sometimes all it requires is the will to jump. Two very different approaches. Citizens of Iego, Droll is not a ghost. You were lucky to escape alive. Who says we didn't make our own luck? The ghost of Droll does that too. <laughs> Shut up, Cockchin. We were a peaceful people before the Separatists drove us from our homes. You seem pleasant, but a little terrifying. Jabo, can you reactivate those vulture droids? Sure. I can even fly them by remote control. <laughs> Okay, if Jar Jar's costume, like uniform, bubble mask still works, take it off of him. I feel like Padme is way more valuable than Jar Jar. No? Jabo, activate the droids. R2, intercept the lasers. Send the vulture droids directly into the laser generator. Okay, that's pretty cool. Damn! Yeah, fuck, it's not a fucking ghost. Well, nice! But you're now free to leave Iego whenever wow. you choose. Wow! Free to hold civilization of people in the meantime, that's sick. Padme. Oh shit, dude, she looks bad. I spoke with the medical droid. He expects you to make a full recovery. I never lost faith in you. Oh, that's good to hear, because there were a few moments where we weren't so sure of ourselves. <laughs> well, you did make it. And I'm gonna thank you later, big boy. Just Padawan, let mama's mouth recover. Your Padawan was brilliant. Okay. Yeah, Ahsoka's always brilliant. I heard you were quite brave fending off the battle droids, Jar Jar. Really? Senator Amidala suggested we offer you training to help hone your skills with a blaster. Really? <laughs> Misa would really? like that! Oh boy! I'm gonna be trained! I am not training him. <laughs> Dude's laying on his deathbed dying and he's like, Ugh. Hey, I'm not training that fucking idiot. <laughs> Pilot, get these two out of here. Thank you, master. Wow. It is a rough road that leads to the heights of greatness. AKA, you gotta go through shit to be great. The people of Ryloth are starving under the blockade of a separatist fleet. It is up to Anakin Skywalker and his Padawan Ahsoka to make way for Obi-Wan's ground assault. <laughs> okay, let's go. Our blockade is impenetrable when the Republic attacks. <laughs> That looked like still Drake should be playing whenever he did that. Fucking gangster ass dude. <laughs> this is my first time commanding a squadron R7. Let's make a good impression. He's like, you fucking serious? You're responsible for my life? The men you're commanding are depending on you with their lives. Thanks. That takes the pressure off. <laughs> yeah. I wasn't nervous before. I sure am now. I wouldn't send you out there if I didn't think you could handle it. 
No, well, that doesn't really mean shit. Swooped blue leader. Group two is standing by. Over. Tucker on five. Waiting for Mother Bird. Over. Waiting for Mama Bird. Waiting for Mama Bird to sit on her eggs. All right. Got some new clones we've never heard of. Commander, you're all clear. Keep the cruisers back until we've softened them up. Do we know how old Ahsoka is? She's just in command as like a preteen or teenager. Like, what the fuck, dude? It's so crazy. All right, boys, let's clear a path. Right away, sir. Their fighters are closing fast. Hey, sir. My guy is either straight off the streets of Compton or he's got major glaucoma wearing those glasses. Time for us to make a run for the battleship. Come on, you whiners. Let's get dirty. <laughs> yeah, boys, let's get her dirty. Now is the time to bring in our reinforcement. Four more enemy cruisers have joined the blockade. You've got to warn those fighters. You're overreacting, Admiral. I can get us through. I'm ordering you to return to the ship. Oh, shit. To meet Soka, it's too risky. It's so funny to me that Anakin says stuff like that. Because every time he gets orders, he's like, Now, nah, fuck those orders! I'm doing my own thing! And it always works out, and he always gets praised. So if that is Ahsoka's leader, why the fuck would she do anything different than the exact same thing? And that means ignore the dumbass orders and do what you want. We're far too outnumbered. Oh, fuck. We're breaking Ahsoka, we are in trouble. I order you back here. Nah, pass! Uh, <laughs> Why are we retreating? We're not retreating. We're following orders. AKA retreating. Too many. We can't shoot them all down. Fighter squadron, where are you? Cool your jets, Admiral. We're almost <laughs> oh, there. It's too late. <laughs> Run for it. Oh. Admiral, come in. <laughs> Unclench your ass cheeks, Admiral. We're gonna be fine. Get those fighters on board and prepare for light speed. And it looks like they weren't fine. Axe, stand on it. We only have a few seconds to get on board. Don't worry about me, Skipper. Axe seems dope. And it's interesting, like the blue markings on the clones on the clones' armor. I guess that means they're part of like a different group. And there goes Axe! Get your squad together. We need to know how many we lost today. Soka, I am very disappointed in you. You not only disobeyed the Admiral, you disobeyed me. Fuck off, dude! You do that every episode, <laughs> okay? First rule of war, listen and obey your superiors. But sometimes you get carried away. Sometimes? All the fucking time! I lost so many of my pilots. Take heart, little one. That's the reality of command. Wow. Anakin's got more of like an older brother vibe to Ahsoka than like a father figure. But at the same time, no I'm but, gonna need you to. Yeah, okay, yep, yeah, she's gone. The Jedi were crushed, of course. Kind of sounds like Edna Mode. They were destroyed, of course, darling. Of course they were destroyed. Went up in flames. We were outnumbered. How many men did you lose? Four. We lost a cruiser, the Redeemer, plus an entire squadron of fighters. Oh, and probably a bit more than four. She's just recovering from the battle. Losing her squadron was hard to take. Yeah, she's not fine. She's in a deep, dark depression now. Oh, yes, fuck, dude. Admiral's got some head trauma now, dude. I am so sorry. <laughs> well, that's not gonna unfracture his skull. Okay, so he's, yeah, he's fine. It. It's gonna be just fine. How are you feeling? I'm fine, Master. Just fine. That's good to hear. Anakin, you dumbass, every time a woman says, I'm fine, that obviously translates to she's going through something crazy that she doesn't want to talk to you about. The Twi'leks on Ryloth are depending on us. I understand that, Master, but we've lost so many men. Oh shit, dude, she's scared to fail again, man. The only way we can break the blockade is if I pilot the Defender right into their battleship and take out the Commander. What? Oh shit. This way, I'm the only one at risk. The enemy can't stop that ship from taking them out. My boy's just trying to do some vehicular manslaughter. Or vehicular murder. It's premeditated and everything. But master, last time I Attention! thought- Attention! Ahsoka, honestly, you're still responsible for them, and if you do nothing, they're gonna fucking die and perish anyway, so. She'll lead the second half of the mission when we engage what's remaining of the blockade. Try to leave some ships for us, General. we Will do, Rex. No. Dude, Rex is a fucking badass. I want to kill some of those hillbillies. Leave some for us, Annie. Master, are you sure you won't reconsider this? This is the only way. Trust me. Ahsoka, you got it. Man up. Grow a sack. Well, Jesus, I mean, don't do that, but have some more confidence. You admire Skywalker? As a general, yes. As a person? Nah, he's a piece of shit. I have to say this plan is 
questionable. But... In our first attack, we had three fully armed cruisers, and we failed. The odds are very much against us. <laughs> Motherfucker, he told Ahsoka what to tell you guys. Would have been the same damn plan. I meant no offense, Commander. Well, offense What's taken. Taking? No, a lot's taken. Greetings, Captain. I'm Anakin Skywalker. I know who you are, Skywalker. <laughs> Ew, his teeth are disgusting. I've been ordered to surrender myself, the entire crew of this vessel, and my ship. Your capture would make me the envy of the Separatist fleet. His ego is gonna get the best of him, man. Everybody's gonna be sucking my lizard log if I bring you in, boy. And I'm gonna do it. If we took the Resolute and angled her hull against the incoming frigates, the bridge and hangar deck would be relatively safe from their attack. Perhaps a different strategy. No, we don't have any more time. <laughs> Let's Master go. Skywalker, Let's go, Ahsoka. Us. The commander is right. I know Admiral coming in here to back her up. Then the strategy will work, sir. D we don't know. Just do it. Regardless of if you say yes or no, nobody knows. The ship is heavily damaged. There is only one life form on board. What? The ship is heavily damaged. All power. <laughs> Your insolence problem. Hey. You have nothing to bargain with. Huh. In that case, I'll be going. Oh, you can still have my ship. Boost the engines and let's <laughs> get We're out crashing of glaucoma. It's just totally like those old timer glasses. My grandma used to have these giant fucking driving glasses she put on. <clears throat> fucking clunky ass sunwear. We can't stop it. What should we do? You stay here. I'll be back. Oh, that's <laughs> great. Damn! Dude, this is sick. This is a pretty action-packed episode. I like these ones. I don't think they're going to attack, Commander. Remember, they are droids. They're just a little slow. <laughs> I.e., they're fucking idiots. And we're trudging forward! Droids are attacking, sir. On your order, commence flanking maneuver. Okay, boys. Here we go. Follow my lead. Damn. That a girl is so good. What is going on? He's in an escape pod. Idiots! <laughs> this was a great plan! Ahsoka, this is Obi-Wan. May we begin our landing? Yes, Master. You're cleared for ground assault. It's so cool. This is the first episode where Ahsoka's really taking charge, and she's honing in on her skills. She's developing that confidence she needs to be a real leader in this... I don't know. Squad? Troop? In this prickle? It's what they call a group of porcupines. Prickle. We got a prickle of Jedi. Nice, dude. That was sick. Okay. The cost of war can never be truly accounted for. AKA, engage in battle, shit gets fucked. Jedi Generals Mace Windu and Obi-Wan Kenobi lead a massive invasion to liberate the starving people. Well, it's time to meet the natives. Yeah, and the question is, are the natives gonna be receptive to y'all landing there and for y'all's help? Or are there gonna be complications when you guys land? Like fucking sadistic cannibals that shit in their hand and hurl the feces at you. You know, we don't know what's going on on that planet. Our new proton cannon are in the optimum position to prevent that. Or a fucking proton cannon, <laughs> okay? I am utilizing the prisoners from this village as living shields. <laughs> I calculate. So fucked. Get every mother and child around our cannon. We're gonna use their corpses as shields. That's so fucked up. Jesus Christ. The enemy fire is penetrating our shields. <laughs> They're penetrating us, Cap. Ew. <laughs> Come on, man, let's go. <laughs> We're trying to get close to the wall. Were we bombing them bitches? Okay, that wasn't as cool as I thought it was gonna be. Oh, well, actually, yeah, it's pretty cool. Kind of reminds me of those green goblin bombs. We need to know what the droids have in store for us. Send your best men to scout ahead. Boyle, Waxer, come with me. Uh, I guess we're the best. <laughs> Boyle. Dude, if my nickname was Boyle, that would suck so bad. Hey, genital wart, come on! You think they killed all of them? Well, there are no bodies. They were driven from their homes. I don't think they had a... <sighs> choice. Yeah. yeah. I don't think they had a choice either. They're being used as human shields now. Or they're being used as alien shields now. <laughs> Found the guns. They're in the courtyard here and here. But there's a complication. In the <gasps> that little fucking we spying pigeon bot, dude. The villages out of harm's way is our first priority. I have faith in you. 
fuck. Now MonkeyBot knows. PigeonBot relaying the info to MonkeyBot. It's General Kenobi who is leading this assault. He is known for his deceptive maneuver. So if he's known for his deceptive maneuvers, can you even trust what you just heard? For all he knows, he saw a little pigeon bot in the sky and then he's telling you guys a fake plant. Oh, she's so cute. What are we gonna do with her? That was a recon unit. We better get moving. We can't leave her here. Take oh, her with you. Take her. Yeah. Don't worry, Waxer. I don't think she's armed. Ah, little tailhead bit me. <laughs> tailhead. <laughs> It's all right. See, I'm flesh and blood, just like you. Phoenix <laughs> have <laughs> uh, Here. Mara, Mara. Now I'm Waxer. He's Boil. Mara, Mara. Oh, you made a friend. Waxer, genital wart. <laughs> So Waxer and Boyle, those are the next clones that we're gonna get attached to. They took off their helmet, revealed their face, speaks to the individuality of the clone. I like these clone episodes. Don't kick them, you fucking dumbass bot. Why are y'all here anyway? Just causing a bunch of destruction and hate? Fucking douchebag. Oh my god. What are you doing? Oh no. Oh god. As I calculated, the creatures require organic meat. As in, humans and clones not sprayed with pesticides? I wonder what happened to her family. They're probably dead. <sighs> She's so scared. Hopefully she'll survive this mess. No, don't go that way. That's where the recon droid went. Waxer, let it go. I'm not just gonna let the droids get her. <laughs> you devious little tailhead. I'm not gonna call her a tailhead anymore. It makes me feel like I'm saying a derogatory statement. It sounds like a <sighs> racial slur. You know, I have binders if we need them. What? Where the hell are we going? Anyway. Was this her home that was taken from her or something? I guess this was her home. Okay. Thing. She lost it all. <sighs> Aww, that's so sad. A dirty little squeak doll. It's okay now. We're here to help. Kids crying is the saddest fucking thing. I mean, unless they're crying for some bullshit reason, like they don't want to go poop. But if they're crying for like a really intense reason, there's nothing sadder. Let's get the rest of the men moving. The others will catch Are they not able to sense that little skybot? It is time to execute my plan. Roger, Roger. <laughs> oh, fuck. Ew, dude, they're like little roach dinosaurs. It's the commander. How are we gonna explain all this? Her, you're asking me? Maybe if we hurry back, we can tell him we ran into a little trouble and our transmissions were jammed uh, by the droids. Why don't you just tell him the truth? You ran into this homeless little cute girl and she took you back to her home. Gut cur! Gut cur! Oh, fuck the roach beasts. I think I know why the kid never came back here. Yeah! Let's get out of here! These suckers won't give up! Oh shit, little underground bunker, dude! Let's go to the bomb shelter! Ew. Dude, I hate insects. There's nothing that calls my masculinity into question like if there's a giant fucking bug on the wall. Look out, look out! Go back! All right, we're using the force, nice. I'm nervous, dude. It's not gonna work. Shoot the bridge. Oh, it is gonna work? Okay. All right. Nice! <laughs> Sick! Okay, cool. It's gonna be the little girl. Don't shoot. And the two clones. Waxer, boy, <laughs> where have you two slackers been? We got sidetracked. Yeah, where is she? Yeah. <laughs> Dude, they just fucking monster zinked the hell out of this episode. Boo! <laughs> She brought us here through the tunnels. She knows the way around them pretty good, sir. She's gonna help y'all win. The girl can lead us through the tunnel to the prisoners. Cody, we're going to need a diversion. You know what I get from the Clone Wars? If you go against orders, you end up being the most successful one. Fucking Wax and Boyle didn't do shit they were supposed to do and end up meeting the girl that's gonna this lead them to victory. The worst job in the droid army. <laughs> <laughs> there they are. Let's go. Commander, we have a problem. The Jedi is freeing the prisoners. Let's go. Tell me you you have a mom and dad. Come on, Jerica. Ready, 
General. Nice. Oh, she came out to rescue them. Oh, we're all fighting. <laughs> Fuck you, you little primate bitch. Yeah, rip his head off. <laughs> Wait, they literally ripped his fucking head off. Oh my god. Now we have a more difficult objective. We must take the capital and free this world. See you later, little one. <laughs> she did so well. Oh, she's so hey, cute. Stay out of trouble. Numa. <laughs> that melts my heart. We'll yeah, they're going to free your world. Nera. Nera. So, what is that she keeps calling us? Nera. It means brother. Oh my god, she sees you guys as family. <laughs> Dude, this is good. This arc is pretty fucking sick. More clone themed and just fucking sheer violence in combat. This is great. Compromise is a virtue to be cultivated, not a weakness to be despised. AKA, compromise with more than what's between your thighs. What? The fuck was that? Sorry, it's just where my mind goes. Now, Jedi General Mace Windu leads the attack on enemy line to liberate the capital city of Lesu. Take cover! We have stopped the enemy advance. Give me those. <laughs> hey, we're pinned down! Get the injured back! I'm gonna clear the road. <laughs> Damn! Lead the way, Commander. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> Can we get him? Does it look like you got him? Should we run? <laughs> Probably. It would be better if we just surrender now. That right there is a perfect description of what overthinking gets you. You think about shit too much, you're gonna get shot in the face. Life lessons. How many men did we lose? 32, I think. Clear path straight to the capital. Dude, this slippery little bastard right here, picking up everybody's battle plans. I mean, it's not like it helps. Master Kenobi has taken the Jexuan Desert. Then it's almost. Oh, over. sweet God! What is wrong with that guy's face? I'd assume a lot of you guys love that guy. I don't know who the fuck he is, but he's got a weird face. I'm gonna enlist the help of the Freedom Fighters, led by Shams and Dula. He is very unpredictable. <laughs> Who gives a fuck, dude? We need help. Is there ever a time when anybody likes the Chancellor? I feel like I've never liked him. I'm like, you're ugly as hell to look at, you're annoying as fuck, and then you end up being the worst villain of, all, of them all. What a dick. Is that them? <laughs> if they sound like this, <laughs> then it probably is them. <laughs> Okay, sorry. Your tactical droid has informed me of the pitiful job you have done protecting our investment on Ryloth. That droid exaggerates. That guy's voice sounds like Zerg from Toy Story 2. Arguably the best Toy Story there is. And that's a hill I'm willing to die on. Look, it's RB551. <laughs> no wonder he got blasted. Oh my god. Imagine if these were humans. Oh, look, here's Cindy! Oh yeah, no wonder this bitch got killed. She's old as fuck. Ah. <laughs> How sinister is that? Our unpredictable friend! I've come for your help. What makes you think you'll get it? Uh, you're not a pompous douchebag? Is that reason enough? And now, I will ready your ship for evacuation. I am not yet ready to leave. <laughs> I don't want to leave yet! You little boy ass man. Some hideout you have here. It has advantages. Do you know why we were massacred, Master Jedi? When the droids no. swept over Ryloth, the Republic was unable to help us. We were forced to surrender, and we came here unarmed. The Separatists brought tanks to exterminate us. Jesus. We have little food or drink, but it is our tradition to share what we do have with our guests. They seem like such a good people, man. Like, very hospitable, extremely kind. It really bums me out to know that fucking Separatists just came to exterminate them and cause mass genocide. Fucking Nazi-ass dudes. Huh. Enemy ships are entering our sector. <laughs> Damage report! They didn't hit us! They bombed the village! Fuck, man. 
Let's go! I Doing a tribal dance! A little distraction goes far to ease the burden of the war. Yeah, if y'all are going through something in life, I got you on the distraction. Okay, you're welcome for that. Your troops will stay for security? For a while, to keep the peace. Another armed occupation is not a free Ryloth. How long before I am fighting you, Master Jedi? Mm. What is it, Commander? The droids have begun a firebombing campaign. Several villages in our sector have been destroyed, sir. Yeah, we kind of need your help really quickly, dude. All right. Make the arrangements. I will speak to Senator Ta. Let's go. I want you out of the city before the Republic arrives. Yes, Count Dooku. You will not do anything until I <laughs> give the order. Oh, Lizard Man doesn't give a fuck about what Dooku has to say. Although I like watching the enemy have power struggles and just implode themselves from the inside out. It makes our job easier. And I'm just... Putting myself in the Republic. There will be nothing left to lead if you two refuse to work together. Okay, y'all need to get on the same fucking page real quick. Let's go. What can the Separatists hope to gain from burning our home? Does it matter? They're burning them and blowing shit up. The time has come to free ourselves. I feel like they could have faded those yells into the next scene. It's kind of an abrupt cut. The bridge. Uh, you're just gonna drop one guy down in the abyss? They, they do not care about each other. They don't take care of their own. I wonder if anybody's ever done a count of how many droids fucking murdered each other through the duration of the entire Clone Wars. I would love to know that. Aaron, I'm gonna put your nerdiness to the test. Do you know that answer? And if you don't, do you even like Clone Wars? He is getting control of that bridge. Perhaps there is your way. My spies tell me those transports carry treasure. It's not enough for the Separatists to enslave and murder us. They must rob us too. Separatists suck. Their overarching goal in life is just to spread like a fucking cancer and just take over as many people and places as they can and unleash their rule. It's toxic, man. It is time to leave. This dude's not gonna let up. Initiating plasma projectors. We're Trojan horsing it. Such a good idea. Wait, I'm picking up an anomaly in there. Oh shit. Are they gonna use the force on him and say, all clear? Trooper, prepare to fire. Oh, we're just fucking blasting him? Oh, no. You're under arrest. You have the right. Wait, he was gonna start to read his Miranda rights? You have the right to remain silent? There's no fucking real judicial system in Star Wars, is there? And if there is a judicial system, they certainly don't have the damn Miranda rights. Oh! Oh! Okay, sick! Get that bridge back up! So oh, yes, sir! Charge! <laughs> yeah, okay, this is some weird, like, bongo drum music for a fight. Hey, you're not authorized. <laughs> Bridge is up, sir. Nice! Oh, Jesus! Start my shit. Start my shit. I know he said shit, but, but it really sounded like shit. My ship. <laughs> I am afraid Amir Tambor refused to retreat in time. That is unfortunate. <laughs> but we what don't give a fuck. To destroy the capital immediately. Oh, lizard man's gonna die by the hands of his own team? That is fucked up. General Windu. Perhaps we can come to a compromise. Motherfucker, you are not in the in the place to negotiate right now. We will all perish for the glory of the Separatist Alliance. <laughs> not today, bitches! Whoa! That was close, Master. Anakin is coming in clutch as hell! Yeah, it always is. Now we're gonna relinquish you to the fish beasts. Today, all of Ryloth thanks you. You've earned your freedom, General. All of you. I don't enjoy looking at the man's face. I don't like it. 
Dude, that was a good arc. It was so filled with fighting. It was sick. As we continue on down the Clone Wars journey, I get more and more impressed with this show. So it already feels like it's getting away from a kid's show to more of just like an adult-ish show. We're learning more and more about these characters. I'm not sure if we've also started seeing the very slow progression of Anakin becoming darker and darker. It does seem like he's experienced that a little bit, but maybe that's just me knowing what's coming in the future and me being like, oh, I actually see this whenever it's not there at all. I'm not sure. What I can tell you is I'm enjoying the shit out of this show. So I just want to say thank you so much for retaking this journey with me, being here with me and explaining all this stuff that's going on. It's been a fucking amazing journey and I cannot wait to continue. And with all that being said, I'll see you in the next one. I love you guys. Peace. Don't